Hello Dr Minkoff. Hi Michelle. I'd like to talk today about antibiotics for Lyme disease. Good. So can you tell us to start with what kind of infection is Lyme? Well Lyme is more of a wastebasket. Originally Lyme disease was described in Connecticut from a bunch of people who had arthritis and flu-like symptoms uh, and that is a bacteria. Uh, it's a particular kind of bacteria called a spirochete. Spirochete is a long, spindly, they sort of corkscrew their way into things. Uh, this is in, actually in the same family as syphilis, uh, which is also a spirochete. So these, these organisms have been around for millions of years probably, and they can cause infection. Now, what we're finding now is that most Lyme patients don't just have that Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the name of the organism, spirochete. They have multiple other organisms. Some of them are parasitic, some of them are kind of halfway between parasites uh, or viruses and bacteria, and, um, and, and they are part of this complex that usually occurs when someone gets Lyme. So the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever Virus, the Bartonella, the Cat Scratch Fever Virus, uh, Ehrlichia, there's, there's a whole bunch of these that usually come together as a package or you might have two or three of them or four or five of them, depending. Antibiotics might be effective for one of them and not another one. If the thing is a parasitic organism, then a regular antibiotic may not be effective. So um, usually people will use a mixture of antibiotics if they're doing it. Uh, I was trained as an infectious disease doctor and used a lot of antibiotics in a lot of people. My experience with Lyme is that unless the treatment is very early, like you just got infected and you have an acute infection, I think antibiotics are very effective and they should be used. Most of the people that we see are people who have had, who have chronic symptoms and they haven't been diagnosed with Lyme. And they present with tremors or, or memory problems or arthritis or autoimmune disease or Parkinson's or MS or rheumatoid arthritis. These are, a lot of these people have Lyme disease. When we do the diagnostic workups on them, we find Lyme disease in them with multiple organisms. Uh, some of these people have been treated for a long time with antibiotics. Some people probably get better with antibiotics. In our experience with chronic patients is the antibiotics just aren't effective for long term. Antibiotics are hard on the body. They mess up your intestinal flora. They can have other side effects where the body is not unable to produce good energy. So we really don't use antibiotics in the treatment of Lyme and we have other methods that I think are more effective. Uh, they support the body's immune system to get better and, um, and we think we do better without them. So what are the latest technologies that you're using to treat Lyme disease? Well, first thing we have to do is find out is the underlying body, is the immune system under any other suppression and that suppression might be are there other viruses? Do they have chronic fatigue viruses? They have Epstein-Barr or cytomegalovirus or herpes type 6 or you know, there's a whole group of these things. Do they have mycoplasma infection? Do they have chlamydia infections? Because these are all part of it. Do they have other things like are they, do they have par a lot of parasite load within their body? Uh, do they have gum disease or root canal teeth or a high heavy metal load? All of these are suppressors to the body itself. In addition, a lot of times people's nutrition hasn't been good, they're not eating the right foods, uh, they may be very deficient in things, like virtually everybody we test is deficient in vitamin D. Many people are vitamin uh, or magnesium deficient or selenium deficient or essential fat deficient. And so we try to build up the body and get everything in there that it should be. Uh, we find that treatments with ozone are very effective with Lyme disease. Ozone is oxygen, it's nature's cure. And uh, it's used in swimming pools, it's used in water purification systems because it will kill organisms, it will kill bad organisms. Our own cells are immune to ozone. They have an enzyme which will allow, which breaks up the ozone so that it doesn't work. But these organisms don't have that enzyme and so when ozone hits them, it kills them. And uh, so that with some other things, there are some very good herbals and botanicals which are very effective anti-Lyme-like 
antibiotics. And the body accepts these very well usually because they're natural compounds, they're plant compounds, and the body's used to getting these. Whereas if you're putting in foreign things, antibiotic things, uh, I think the body has more trouble with them. So if, if, if you're someone who's not been diagnosed, you've been treated by a lot of doctors, you have fatigue, or you don't feel well, or your gut is disturbed, or you have things like tremors, or, or, or joint pain, or someone has said you got something, and their ultimate treatment that you're getting is purely suppressive therapy. They're giving you drugs to block your immune system or steroids to tone down your immune system. There is a high chance that you may have Lyme or a similar illness and, uh, and that you can be helped. So go to our website, lifeworkswellnesscenter.com. Look around there. You'll see some testimonials. There's lots more information about it. And, um, and then if we can help you, we'd be happy to see you. Great. Thank you. You're welcome.